Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can contribute to the open source of Flutter, right? So as you know that Flutter is itself an open source software uh, built by Google. And you can use it to create apps, web apps, Windows, Linux, Mac, and all that, right? But according to me, if you're contributing to this uh, open source, if you're contributing to any open source uh, software, then your profile is going to look a lot better than other profiles, right? Because on your GitHub, you are going to show pull requests, you're going to show your merge, then you're going to show contributions, commits, everything, right? Code reviews, everything will be visible on your GitHub profile. And this really makes your profile look better in front of the clients, in front of the uh, hiring managers, then tech leads of the companies, right? So if you want to make your career, career in freelancing, then clients go through your GitHub, right? Before giving a project. So in today's world, contributing to the open source is very much necessary. So in this video, I'm going to first show you which are four methods are there. And all these four methods I'm currently using in my life or uh, using in my letter career journey, right? So then we are going to see how you can use these four methods. Number one method is you can contribute to official GitHub repo of Flutter. So GitHub slash Flutter is a repository on GitHub. You can go and you can solve the issues. You can uh, review the pull request, everything, right? So I'm going to show you very soon. So first of all, let's see other three methods also. Number second is you can create your own plugins and packages, right? So you can go on pub.dev and you can uh, like take motivation, take inspiration from other packages and plugins. And if you think that one more problem can be solved using a plugin and a package, you can solve it. I'm going to share which package I recently created to solve a problem, right? So you can create plugins and packages. So create plugins and packages and publish them on pub.dev. So pub.dev, you can publish, right? Number third method is you can go through the uh, like repositories of people. Like let's say I'm creating a project. I'm making a tutorial of that project on YouTube. Then I'm giving you the code, right? And you can go through that code. You can add more features in that code. You can uh, like write the readmes of that code so that other people can, uh, so it becomes very helpful for other people to read that code, right? You can write comments, everything. So number third method is you can contribute to, contribute, to others repository repos, right? So you can contribute to other people's repository and you can uh, like make your GitHub profile look better, right? Because your commits will increase, your open source contributions will increase like that. So if, if there is a repository and it is public and you commit to it and the reviewer or the admin of that repository ac accepts your pull request, then your contribution is going to get counted, right? Number four is you can create content. So number four is content creation. So now you can see that all these four things I'm currently doing, content creation, you can create tutorials, you can write blogs and uh, yeah. So if someone is getting help from your content, then obviously that's an open source contribution and you are doing something good for the Flutter community, right? So these are the four methods which you can adopt right now, right today, and you can increase your uh, social or you can say Flutter profile, right? So yeah, let's see uh, how you can uh, do all these things. So let me just go on GitHub. So this is GitHub and you can see that GitHub, uh, if you will search Flutter on GitHub, you will see this Flutter slash Flutter. Just go on this repository. So this is the official GitHub uh, repository of Flutter, right? All the Flutter code is written inside this repository, right? Now what you need to do is, these are the pull requests. So which people are uh, saying that you can uh, request or they are requesting the admin of this repository to uh, merge their code, right? So if the admin reviews their code and he thinks that, yes, this code is perfectly fine, no bug, no issue is there, they will uh, accept it and they will merge it. So then after that, they will become the official contributor of Flutter and their name will be visible over here, right? But now let's see how you can solve an issue. So you can see that 5,000 plus issues are uh, raised in the Flutter repository. So you can go through this issues. Now, if you're a beginner, you don't need to uh, take the first issue and try to solve it. It, be, it may become uh, like really hard for you. So what you need to do is go in, inside the labels and search for easy one. So search for easy and you can see that this is an easy fix uh, issue. So now all the easy fix uh, issues are there and now you can solve them one by one, right? So this is how you can uh, contribute to the official Flutter even if you are a beginner. So some will be like uh, spelling mistakes, some will be readme mistakes comments are not there, then someone is not able to understand it. So he's requesting you to write the comment and all that. So they will be visible inside this. Or in some cases, some dark theme is visible in the light theme, light theme is visible in the dark theme. 
So these are all the basic issues that you can solve it. And yes, after that, you can go through all these labels and according to your expertise, you can solve them, right? So let's say some uh, issues were there in the Flutter China software, then you can solve that if you're from China and you are an expert in Flutter and fidelity issues, first star issues, then layout, mouse, null safety issues, platform views issues, release issues, size issues, you can solve them according to your expertise, right? But I recommend you to go through the easy fixes first and solve them and make your contribution get counted, right? So this was the first method how you can contribute to the official Flutter repository. Like that, you can also contribute to the plugins. So if you'll go on uh, pub.dev, you can see all these plugins. Uh, so all those plugins which are officially created by Flutter, they are present in this repository, Flutter slash plugins, right? So all these plugins you can see over here, image picker, local auth, path provider, they're officially created by Flutter. So let's say you are an expert in image picker one. So let's go through it. So this is the code for the image picker. Now what you can do is go inside the plugins. So let's say you want to make your contribution get counted or you want to raise a pull request. You have solved one issue and you want to raise a pull request. So what you need to do is, first of all, you need to fork this repository. So I'm going to click on fork and this is going to make a copy of this complete repository under my username. So you can see akmadan slash plugins, right? So click on create fork. So this is going to fork it. Now what I can do is I cannot directly make changes inside the official Flutter plugins repository, right? I need to fork it. That means I am taking some code from someone else plate into my plate and then I can eat that code. I can just do anything with that code, right? So now I can make changes to this repository. I can make changes to the readme, everything. So let's say I go and make some changes inside this readme file. So let's say uh, I wrote one line. Right. So this is a line that I've wrote and right uh, exactly like this, I can make change to any code file, right? Not just a readme. And now I'm going to click on commit changes. So this is going to make changes inside the uh, repository, which I have forked. So you can see. So if I just go in the plugins, akmadan slash plugins, and you can see that added some comments has been added inside the readme file. Now let's say I want that this line or this change should be visible in the official Flutter plugins repository also. Now, how can I do it? So you can simply raise a pull request. So just go inside the pull request, create a new pull request, and you can write the title, like what uh, change have you made, and then you can publish it. So you can see that GitHub is showing me that this change you have done uh, inside your own repository, and would you like to make a pull request? So click on create a pull request, and this is going to ask for the title and some description, and you can click on create request. So I'm not going to create a pull request because this is not a viable or a legit change that I've made. Uh, so that's why I'm not going to like make some dirty changes. So that's why I'm going to get back. But yeah, if you have made a very valuable change, then you can click on create a pull request and a request will be sent to the official Flutter plugin. So this was the first method that we have seen. That is how you can make changes to the official GitHub Flutter, right? Now how you can make your own plugins. Let me show you. So this is pub.dev and whichever plugins, packages, right? So this is a collection of all the plugins and packages. And yes, one more thing, you should know the difference between a plugin and a package. So I have already created one video, uh, like plugin versus package and what's the difference. So you can watch that video or just, let's, just let me give you one uh, simple example. So plugin is that code, plugin is a platform dependent code. So that means for writing a plugin, you must have written some code in the iOS that is Swift, or you must have written some code in the Android that is Kotlin or Java, right? So let's say, let's take an example of uh, URL launcher, right? Or image picker. So all these are plugins. They are not packages, right? So image picker. So they have platform dependent code. That means they have the system dependent or the like operating system dependent code, right? So the developers of these plugins must have written the coding or the code in the iOS and the Android separately. Right. But what is a package package is not having any platform dependent code. It just have the flutter code, right? So let's say the UI things animated text. So this is a package because it is not having anything written in Kotlin, Java or Android or, or, or Swift, right? So uh, the developer of this package must have written the code in the dart itself, right? So I recently created one package, not a plugin that was called the flutter social icons or social widget. I just forgot it. Let me just search it. Uh, yes, social media flutter. Correct. So this is the uh, package which I recently launched. So what it does is uh, many times when I was creating a web application, I'm currently making a web application, Gromonks web application I'm currently making. So 
you must have to write in the footers like what's the social links right uh, instagram icon github icon twitter then linkedin youtube all that so instead of like uh, taking a icon then writing the text wrapping it with a text button then navigating it you can just use this widget called social widget you can write the placeholder text icon data icon color right over here and all these icons also they are available inside this package and using this widget you can like write your social widgets or social links and they are also wrapped with the url launcher by itself right you don't need to wrap it with any social uh, this url launcher so this is a package which i recently created and yes this is also one way of contributing to the flutter because now flutter developers don't need to write the complete code they can directly use this widget so this is one of my op open source contribution a recent open source contribution to the flutter right so this was the second method that is how you can contribute to open source like writing your own plugins and your packages now how you can contribute to others repository let me just show you so just go on github and search search flutter open source in all github so this is the uh, repository which i was talking about this is a amazing repository and it is having a lot of open source uh, flutter application you can see in the and you can choose a field also let's say you want to see the open source uh, applications built in flutter in the business field so you can see all these applications are available for free like invoice ninja which is a very uh, like amazing application i have went through its code and it's amazing now flutter job application now all these applications spacex go now spacex go that's amazing application it tells you about which all spacex uh, like launches are there in the upcoming time uh, like rocket launches are there in the upcoming time so it uses spacex go uh, uh, this api right so amazing so entertainment application now all these applications are available for free some of them are fully functioning application like trace so let me just go on trace yes so it's a tool to uh, manage your crypto portfolio and market explorer right so it is completely functioning all the api links are attached everything right so let me just go on this code so complete code is there right it's a crypto portfolio you can see all the cryptocurrencies and you can manage your own crypto portfolio everything right it is also available on the google play so this is nothing but the open source contribution that they are doing now how you can uh, like uh, help them to grow faster or how you can make your contributions grow using these repositories so all these repositories are not owned by flutter they are repositories which are owned by like people right so you can go inside the issues and in the same way you can solve first of all the easy issues then hard issues then like you are according to your expertise right now one more thing uh, let me tell you you can also go on my github account so search for ak madan so this, this is my github account and in the repositories you can search for flutter so all the repositories which are related to flutter are going to come in front of you and you can make contributions to it and i'm going to read your contribution and if your code is valuable to the repository i'm going to merge it right over there right so you can just let's say i have worked uh, on flutter voting dapp so that's a uh, uh blockchain based app and if you think that you can add something more to this repository let's say you want to write the readme or you want to add some comments or you have you can add one more feature just make a pull request and in the title of that pull request write slash subscriber so if you are my subscriber i'm going to read your code right over there i'm going to merge it if your code is valuable to me right so yeah this is uh good right so like this you can contribute to other people's repository so this was the third method and there were around 300 applications uh in the flutter open source yes in this repository which i had when i was seeking through yeah according to me yeah around more than 100 applications are there for sure right so you can go through all these applications and if you think that some of these codes are valuable to your projects you can obviously take it because it's open source and you can like Uh, like that repository or start that start start that repository to just help the coder to grow help the developer of that repository to grow right so last method is content creation so this is really an interesting way of contributing to the open source of any technology not just flutter right so you can create videos you can create tutorials but if you're shy in front of the camera don't worry you can write blogs right just open a page on medium.com free of cost and start writing your blogs whatever you have learned in that week try to write that on the weekends right and you can also go on geeks for geeks apply for a 
technical blog writer internship you will not get just get an internship you will get a certificate you will get a stipend and obviously you are going to get a lot of public who will be reading your blogs because geeks for geeks has a lot of public right so yeah these are all the ways that you can contribute to the open source i am contributing to the open source of flutter using all the ways right i am solving issues i am uh, making my packages i am contributing to other people repositories i am also adding my projects on that repository which i just show you this one i have created one pull request uh, that was to add my voting dap to this repository but it is not yet uh, like accepted i hope it gets accepted but if not don't worry you are contributing to the open source so yeah i am also creating content more than 200 videos are there on my channel related to flutter right so i hope that you like this video i hope this video added some value to your flutter journey if you like this you can like this video till next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot guys